And as it turns out, uh, this is really quite a simple job on the G7, so it's not going to take a whole lot. The first thing we want to do <clears throat> is take the bezel off the uh, lid. And um, this is where the knife comes in handy. There are no screw holes along the top or sides of the G7 bezel. However, there are screws at the bottom two corners. So what we're going to do is uh, use the knife. I'm going to move the camera. We're going to use the knife to just very gently dig out a little cover that they put over there. I don't know how well this is coming through for you. But it's already off. It's just a little bit, it dropped down. It's a little bit of adhesive. There it is right there on my fingertip. And you need to have a safe place for the small parts that you're going to be taking off. And the same thing here. Very careful. You don't want to scratch anything. So just dig into... okay there it is on the knife and that's it you're done with the knife it's the end of that part let me park the uh, camera again all right now what we have underneath those covers are a screw a very small screw sometimes you really have to fight to get these corner screws out but on the G7 it's very simple you have a straight shot with the screwdriver so you're just gently going to unscrew that. And when it's done, you will simply pull the screw out. And this is where having a magnetic screwdriver is solid gold. And the same thing over on the opposite corner. And again, caught by the magnet. And that's that. The bezel is actually now free. Now aside from those two screws, they usually put some adhesive there to stick it down better and to make the whole assembly more rigid. So you might be fighting that, so just take your time. I'm going to stand up and approach it from behind. But I'm going to start at the top. Yes, it's amazing how easy it comes off very gently but firmly and the bottom is going to give you the most resistance just slide your thumb under as you go okay that's basically off there it is that should about do it the bezel is now off I parked that aside and now we have the screen what we're going to have, I'm going to move the camera again, is we have a screw at the top and at the top, and that's really all it is. And what we're going to be doing is there are screws at the side. There's one there, and there's one there at the bottom on each side. And that's what we're going to be looking to take out. So to begin with, we have to take the screw off the top completely very simple and so far all the screws are the same size so you don't have to worry about mixing them up doesn't matter they're all the same size and they're all covered so you never see them when you're done now that gives us a little bit of play here to work with okay which is good now here's the screw at the top we're going to go for. That connects the screen to this control arm from, from the hinge. Now these screws are a little bit smaller, so but they're it's very easy to um, see. These are chrome screws and the other are, are black. Now I'm going to do the two top ones first. 
so I don't stress the screen. Now you can see the uh, this is quite floppy now so you want to be a little careful. Now I'm going to do the two bottom ones and at this point the screen is becoming quite loose and this is the last one so as I do it I'm going to take a hold of the screen and take its weight off of the lid. Now the screen is now loose okay and sometimes you're going to get a little stickiness here on this cable going up to the webcam so be careful and if it is just gently work it loose so that you can take the screen and flop it forward so we can see the connections. Now I'm going to move the camera again. Here's what the connection looks like on this. This is a 40 pin connection. Here's your video cable coming up to it. The video cable is rooted with, with uh, guides along the inside of the lid and then it comes up into the um, so 40 pin socket and in order to keep this thing together while you're opening and closing your lid over the years what they have is uh, a clear tape and this is why I said you're gonna it'd be good to have packing tape alright so uh, what I'm gonna do because I don't find the edge if you can find the edge of the uh, tape that's your best bet if you can't, then then what I do is I uh, I take a sharp knife and I cut very carefully around the connector so that the connector is free. In this case, the tape came up most of it. I still have a little, there it is. And you can see without the tape, the connection is quite easy to um, take apart which is why they put the tape on it it's already apart okay right <clears throat> okay and now the old screen is completely disconnected mechanically and electronically now I have my new screen okay there's the protector and the first thing we're gonna do is make the connection again. It's very simple to make. Get the screen roughly in position. I'm sorry for the camera bouncing around. I don't have a tripod. It's on my list. Just align that up. And when it's right, will snap in with a minimum of pressure. There it is. I'm going to just make sure that is it. Okay. Looking good. Resecure that. So that it sticks. Gently, but firmly, and once that's on, you really should be okay. There's really not, not much that's going to take that off again. You see how quickly this is going? The first time you do it, just take your time and uh, double check everything. Make sure you're not jumping ahead into anything. But really, you don't have a lot to be worried about. The screen goes back. Now, this is uh, also a wonderful thing about the magnetic screwdriver. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put the screen down for a second. Is you can preload the screw. Okay, it's that third hand really. You can preload the screw now if 
I can find the hole. It's around there someplace. There it is. First one is the hardest. Okay. Again, I'm going to go over to the other side of the top just for evenness. Put it in the hole first and then bring the screen over to the hinge. The hole was very easy to find that time. We have two more screen mounting screws to put on. And just snug. Snug and that itsy bits more. That's all it takes. It's not going anywhere. And that's that. The screen is now in place. Now we can begin to put the lid assembly back together. And that means these upper two screws are back to the bigger black screws now. One. Okay, everything is going fantastic. Now we're in the market for a bezel and I just happen to have one. Now let me get the camera over here. You just want to check that your video cable is still uh, routed nicely, that it's not hanging over which is going to interfere with the bezel. Okay, and now you have a, this is your wire coming up here alongside and over to the microphone and webcam and uh, there's no wires on the side of the G7 on the right side that I can see anyway so we're fine alright so we should be ready to put the bezel back on okay that's a little bit better just get it rough it roughly in position Okay, again I'm going to approach it from behind, I find it easier. And it came off starting at the top, so I'm going to put it back on starting at the top. Just gently squeeze and it'll snap. Just take your time. Now one hand in the back, one hand in the front. You hear that snapping into place. and I got two more screws left and I have two more screw holes it's always nice when you have enough screws and when you don't have too many screws okay preload the screw carefully just a little snug plus a little bit. Now these, uh, I gotta say, these are the strangest screw hole covers I have ever seen. I, I, there's not a word for them. I'm gonna hold it up to the camera. They're sort of trapezoidal and you see there's like one rounded corner and the other corners are sharp. And that one rounded corner goes to the let me move the camera again, sorry. That one rounded corner goes to the outside and up on each side, okay? And this is the trickiest part of the whole deal. And this is where it's nice to have the, um, the slot-headed screwdriver because it's a flat tool that'll help you to maneuver. What you're going to do is kind of get it on there and slide it into the proper position 